So what's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of my Sanders Legacy story on The Sims 4. We are at episode 3 right now and if you watched the last part then you probably know that Melanie has a lot of explaining to do, okay? So pretty much, just to recap, just in case you know, you didn't tune in and you have no idea what I'm talking about. Pretty much, um, Talon took Melanie to a fair, and they had a good time, and it was at that fair that Melanie promised Talon that she would stop going out to clubs so much, she would stop getting drunk so much, and partying so much, and Talon believed her, and it ended up being a whole big bag of crocodile lies. Like, I don't know how else to say it. She lied to his face to get him off her back. But he ended up after she came in, you know, he couldn't just, he couldn't deal with her. So he came to play basketball. And now here she is a few hours later to grace his presence. And I feel like she really needs to apologize, you know, for lying to him and going out to be a party girl. So. That's pretty much where we are now, so now you're all caught up. So Melanie is over here looking really sorry, and Jaina looks so adorable in her little ass, let it get up, and he is just like, ugh, what the heck do you want? <laughs> just kidding, but seriously, I, I'm guessing he's he's not too happy. We're gonna have uh, Melanie come over here and, you know, try to brighten up his day a little bit and apologize. Do we have a option for that? I feel like we don't. Let's, um, let's have a deep conversation with him and, you know, apologize for what we did last night. She's gonna come over here and, um... He's just pretty much shooting, like, trying to ignore the fact that she's there. He's just playing around. I hope he's not really that bad at basketball. But, yeah, she's pretty much just apologizing and telling him, look, I'm sorry that I went to the club like that. I know it was wrong. I know I shouldn't have done it. And I'm really, really, really... Really, 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 really sorry. I promise I will stay out of clubs. It won't ever happen again. I promise. And he thinks it over for a minute. You know, he really takes in consideration her apology. And maybe he gets the feeling that she is sorry. And after all, you know, he can't just like yell at her and be mad at her. Because he is trying to manipulate her into turning into, I guess, this good and proper young lady that her stepfather wants her so badly to be. So if he yells at her and scares her off, he would be losing quite a bit of money. So he's not just, he's not going to yell at her and he's going to take her feelings into consideration, her apology, and he accepts it. He accepts her apology and she assures him no more clubs. So he's like, so you're not going to come to the club tonight that I happen to be DJing at? I was going to invite you, but since you said no more clubs, I guess you just don't want to go, right? And of course she's like, oh my god, you're DJing at a club? Are you kidding me? I'm so proud of you. I would love to go see you perform. So pretty much she has agreed to go to a club with him tonight that he happens to be DJing and it seems like their friendship is okay now, I guess. I guess all is forgiven. So now that that's out of the way, now that the awkward is wow, wow happened to you. You were just all kinds of creepy, girl. All kinds of creepy. We're just gonna ig ignore the floating head and feet in the corner. Hopefully she's not here to play basketball. Can we ask her to leave? But yeah, I think now that, you know, the awkward friendship apology is out of the way, they can both kind of, you know, shoot around, play around together for a little while. She's gonna ask him if she can join him in basketball. Let's see how good her skills are. 
Oh, not that great. <laughs> Poor Melanie. So let me just get a picture of this real quick because it is so freaking cute. And wow, is it just me or does it look like rain? Like I know this is for it doesn't have weather, but I mean, <laughs> it's looking a little cloudy up there. If that's like not a hint or something that seasons may be coming pretty soon to Sims 4, I don't really know what is, okay? I can hope right. We're going to have him slam dunk and kind of show Mel how it's done. Or, or not. Or, or you know, you could lose the ball. <laughs> she is so cute. Look at that. Go Talon. And he's like, yeah, uh, that is how it's done. And this girl right here, look floating head. You are seriously ruining this moment i mean look at this those could have been the most most adorable picture ever but no i can't take it because of you you know what talon's not talon's not gonna put up with this you know we're gonna say hey to her now can you go please okay 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 oh come on now can we tell her to you know get the heck out of here please all right goodbye let's see if this works Goodbye. See you later. Leave the basketball court. Oh, it worked. I'm a freaking genius, man. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, that was probably really rude, but, you know. Oh, Mel is getting better. No, why are you back, lady? She's just not going to take the hint, is she? Some people just, you know, they never learn. They don't know when they're not wanted. So I guess we are going to go and get ready for this party, right? So let's grab up the gang. There is also somebody else that is going to be a main character of this series that I have not introduced you guys yet because there is still something that you guys don't know about Talon and Marley. Um, when I said that they lived in a small town, I literally meant they were poor in a small town. Um, it turns out that... Talon and Marley, he has to pee, so hang on a second, let me take care of his needs. But it turns out, actually, we're just going to send them home. But Talon and Marley actually lived in a foster home that happened to be right next door to Mel and Kayla's house. Now, it was a small foster home. There was only three kids there, which was Talon... Marley, which were brother and sister, and there was another boy named Trey. So Trey is kind of like, you know, was Talon's brother. You know, Trey was transferred into the foster home when he was just 13 years old. So they kind of grew up a little bit together, you know? And my cat is freaking out. What are you doing? Sorry about that. But let's go ahead and get our needs up. So I'm super excited to introduce you guys to Trey. He happened to just moved into the apartment next to us. So he's living like where this wall right here is. So I'm excited for your, um, you guys to meet him. He's, a, you know, he's a good looking Sim. You know, I made him. I always make my Sims, you know, look super hot. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I have no idea. But he is pretty good looking and he's, you know, kind of funny, easy going. I think you guys will really like him and I think he will add a lot of depth to the story later on. So what I'm going to do is kind of get everybody's needs up, you know the real boring stuff eating bladder all that and then i will meet you guys at the party my foot's asleep playing this game so long i need some water before we get this party started and all the drama unfolds Okay, so here is our gang of people. Wait, 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 wait a second. We all got to get in our outfits. This is not what you wear to a club, people. Okay, guys, so here we are at the club. It's always the one I go to. I should probably try to download some more from the gallery, but I really like this club a lot. I feel it has, it has everything I need. So, you know, why mess with something that's already good, right? So here we have Talon at the DJ booth. He is so excited. This is like his 
first official gig, I feel like, at a club, and he is just working it. Like, you go, Talon. Listen to you, boy. Boy. Um, but where is everybody else? Um, where are my girls? Where are my girls? Let's go ahead and go here. I'm gonna have the girls come here. In the book in the club and there is Jalen and um Albini which are the um which are the which are the Trinity. I always want to call them the trilogy for some reason. I think I made that mistake in episode one somewhere. But they are the Trinity. Okay so here we go look at that so the girls are here to support Talon, you know, at his first DJ competition. And wow, Jalen, what is your problem, girl? Why are you being such a snatch to poor candy here? Um, let's go ahead and I want to have a dance battle with our sister, our poor, sweet, goody two-shoes sister. You know, this is Melanie's scene. It's her time to shine. Kayla always shines and everything else in life and Melanie's like oh you want to do a dance battle sis hopefully they do it are they gonna do it or did it get canceled why though why would it get canceled I don't come on Kayla don't tell me you're chickening out we are having this dance battle whether you like it or not come on come on Maybe it just wasn't meant to be. It looks like Kayla is jigging in out, I guess. So it's whatever. It is what it is, Kayla. So while everybody is dancing and having a good time with Talon in the DJ booth, I am going to introduce you guys to Trey. I told you he was handsome and you didn't believe me. <laughs> but this is Trey. He's absolutely adorable and I think it's so cute that he has such a good brotherly bond with Talon. And I just, I'm really enjoying, you know, having somebody new to the story. So what I'm going to do while I have him here is go ahead and have Kayla kind of, you know, chat with him, you know, talk to him because I'm sure it has been a long time since they have spoke. And, you know, Kayla and Trey were always kind of close growing up, so I'm sure they miss each other. So we're going to let them catch up on old times. He's like, Kayla, oh my god, you look so good. And you know, she's going to reply like, oh no, I, I know, I know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She's not that conceited, but yeah, they're pretty much gonna catch up on the dance floor since he is new in town. And where is my Mel? Well, where is Melanie at? And of course, we find Melanie doing what Melanie does best, getting completely wasted and drunk out of her mind. Now, this isn't, you know, out of the ordinary for Melanie at the club, but the only difference is she's not used to having people who love and care about her, you know, kind of watch her being so self-destructive like she usually is. So let's see, Mel, what kind of damage are you doing? You are drinking a juice on the rocks. Mm. I don't know, that's a pretty strong drink you got there. I wonder what drama you're about to cause, drunken Melanie. So I guess, you know, you could go ahead and finish your drink, Mel. Well, everybody else is probably wondering where you are. Poor Talon. You, you were supposed to come support your friend, not get upstairs and get drunk and stuff. So apparently, drunk Melanie went downstairs of the club to go to the bathroom, and this guy followed her down, and drunk Melanie now has known this guy before at the club, and, and is completely letting him take full advantage of her. She is so wasted out of her mind that she has no idea what she's doing but she's very all over the place and sloppy and drunk and some of you may know who this guy is but i I'm, I'm just gonna show you because he was 
in episode one of the series, which, which took me off guard when I seen them down here together like this. This is um, Akira. You remember Akira from episode one when um, Kayla was trying to, you know, be flirty with him at the karaoke bar, but he just wasn't having it. Well, it looks like he is downstairs trying to get lucky with Melanie while she is wasted. Now, Melanie is so out of her mind, you know. She's drunk, she's feeling it, he's feeling it. Um, I really don't know at this point. Um, no, I did not plan this part at all. This completely came as a shock to me. Like, I knew they were flirty. Oh, God. Now this guy's just gonna, like, ruin it. Can we tell him goodbye? I actually had something else planned for this episode, but you know what? Let's just go with it, okay? My wheels in my head are turning. Um, so, yeah, let's, let's, let's see where this takes us. So, she and a drunking moment is just going to flat out kiss a girl, okay? Like... She's just gonna kiss him. He's gonna try his best to get her over here to this closet. So that's that's exactly what he's going to do. They are going to make out in some dirty closet downstairs at some random club. She's drunk. I don't know if he's drunk. Chances are he's not. He's just trying to get lucky and he finds her to look pretty helpless and um you know, ready for it, I guess. No, they are not woohooing before anybody says they are just making out. This is the time, okay, this is the time where I think we should stir up some drama, you know, stir up some real fun stuff. So we are gonna have, where is Talon? Talon, Melanie was supposed to be here to watch Talon on the DJ booth. I mean, that's you know, she promised him no more crazy drunkenness, no more crazy party girl at clubs. She was just supposed to be going to this club to support her friend, and now she's making out with some guy downstairs. So we're gonna have Mr. Talon, you know, he has just realized, you know, his set is over. Where is Melanie? He sees Kayla, he sees, um, all his other friends, but where is Melanie? And of course, his instinct starts kicking in and he's getting worried. So I think he needs to, you know, try to find out where she is. So we're gonna have him go downstairs. <laughs> Just so casually go downstairs looking for her. Oh, and there you have it, guys. There you freaking have it. He walks in just as they're walking out and you know he knows what's up. Like, he's not stupid by any means. He knows what she was just in there doing. Well, what he, God knows that it was just making out. So, he's feeling this emotion inside of him that he has enveloped in a very long time time and he is literally pissed i mean look at mel over here she's obviously looking drunk and he's looking pretty pleased with himself you know so i think talent's gonna um come over here and really tell this guy a piece of his mind he's basically going to yell at this guy and tell him are you freaking kidding me you're gonna make out with her and she is drunk like what kind of guy takes advantage of a girl while she is drunk no he is not getting away that easy like talon is about to like throw down with this guy so we're just going to keep going we're just gonna keep yelling at this guy and Melanie, poor Mel, she doesn't know what to do, what's going on. Melanie, sweetie, you're not going anywhere. You might as well just sit down um, because I'm sure Talon will be, you know, on to you next. So he's gonna keep, you know, yelling at him. I mean, that is very messed up. That it's very very messed up that um he would do that to someone who was drunk and you know kind of defenseless 
And why is he getting so upset about it, I wonder? Well, who's to say, really? Let's go ahead and, hmm, get him, like, just really, really angry. We're going to jeer at him. And we're going to fight him. We, they are about to fight right now. It's time to throw down. Here we go. They are like legitly, like look at him. Go Talon. Like I hope Talon wins. I really hope Talon wins this fight. Please Talon. Oh God. Oh God. Come on. Come on. Come on Talon. I have no idea he's going to win. Oh my God. And there you go. You don't mess with Talon. Or the people he cares about. And he obviously cares a lot about Melanie. Oh, whether um, he chooses to express that or not. He cares about her. And you're not going to take advantage of her oh, while wow, she's drunk. That's just, it's not going to happen as long as he's around. Like, it just goes to show how much he really does care about her. So for one last time, I think he is going to tell him to go away like get out of here leave her alone your night with her is over and he's not even gonna put up a fight at this point he is just going to walk away Alright guys, so that's it for this episode of The Sanders Legacy. I hope you guys liked it. So much drama happened in this. Now we know that Talon um, used to be in love with Melanie and he left because he wanted to make something out of himself before he came back and kind of confessed that to her. But she kind of just ruined everything with her self-destructive behavior. And it's really sad. I can't wait to see what happens next. Hopefully you guys are just as excited as me and you are enjoying this story so far. If you are, please give this video a big thumbs up. Leave your opinions down below where the other wild things are. And subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a single thing. I love you guys to the moon and back and until my next video, I will see you next time. Bye